uh, talk through the product, show you the product and, and talk through what we're doing, how we're doing it, how we're selling it. But some of the customers that have already bought in uh, are uh, the Flyers, uh, the Phillies. Um, uh, the, uh, we had a meeting with the Penguins. We had a meeting, the Hard Rock. We signed a deal with the Hard Rock already. Um, the people that were, we've done demos to include inter, Intercontinental Hotel Group, who said they wanted 24,000 units of these. So everywhere we go, uh, everything, every single use case. So you name the, the use case, whether it's, um, it doesn't matter if it's a college, if it's a um, FedEx wants 600 of these. So it's, um, uh, you name it, they're, they're doing it. Like I just had yesterday, we had a fruit picking plan. Uh, ordered 16 on our website last night. Uh, so anywhere you could think of any any business, any anything of thermal scanning or reopening America, reopening the world, like this is the solution for that. So the um, this is a quick video that I just made in just in, in my house. So obviously this is just a one second scan. So it, it's so fast. So when someone walks up to the device within one second, they're being thermally scanned and it displays the temperature. Um, the, the, the thermal reading, as you, you can see on this right here, there's a little image. And what, the, what our product does is this is a German-made thermal camera. And, it's, and we wrote software that puts a little dot right in the center of someone's forehead. And then it reads their temperature. So, so if someone asks you, like, what's, you know, how does it read the temperature, it's putting a thermological dot on your forehead, just as if those little guns that they have in the, um, in the hospital and then they put it to your forehead and they read your temperature. It's the same uh, product, the same, same kind of technology. Although this is a much, much higher end thermal reader. And that's why it does it so fast and so accurate e each and every time. So, uh, but what we're gonna talk about is how much deeper this goes than just a thermal scan. Like it's, a, it's much, much deeper than that. Because we actually have what we've done here too. Let me show you this. Um, we, we have it where you could customize this for people too. So this happens to be for the capitals and, um, and see, and then we even have customized audibles. So right after you come up to the screen, you could have their logo and everything you're seeing here, we've made that you could customize it on the actual application or you could customize it uh, on the, uh, hold on. So you customize it right here in the system. You could customize the words. So it's multilingual. You could put whatever language you want on there. Uh, we even made it so you could customize this piece over here of how long your temperature displays for. So we have some customers that want like a three second temperature display. So you could see how long the temp is for like three seconds and or but you could put it down to milliseconds. So you could even say, I only want it up there for one second or half a second. So um, and then uh, and then again, the it flips. So it flips to this screen. You could even put a logo on here. Uh, you could say you're welcome and again, whatever language you want. Uh, and in this case, we have this, the guy on here is a radio announcer and he announced this for us, a welcome capital span. So when you walk into the caps, you're going to be able to do that. But um, yesterday we had a meeting with the Penguins and they talked about that they're going to have Mario Lemieux put his voice on there uh, and they want to make it, uh, uh, you know, they want to have it where it's, uh, People are saying, oh, look, when you get thermally scanned, and Mario is going to say welcome you know, to uh, Penguins Arena, so or PPG Paint Center. So, so the product it itself is uh, uh, very, very unique. Uh, and what separates us from a lot of these other players, there's other people selling thermal scanning technology out in the marketplace. So there, there is some competitors, not many, uh, but there are a few. Uh, but I can tell you that no one else out in the market today has a whole compliance platform. So we're selling not just the anonymous thermal scanning, we're selling thermal scanning combined with COVID-19 compliance reporting, combined with access control, you know, combined with a customization, which I'm going to show you. And, and really, uh, truthfully, by the end, you guys will be complete experts at being able to, uh, to sell the technology. So this, uh, the device comes with uh, this reader on the top. It has two cameras. It has an IR and a color camera. It has IR lights on it, so it does read in the dark or near dark. It has LED lights on it, so uh, you could walk in front of it and the LED would come on. Uh, it has an eight-inch touchscreen, so you can interact with the, uh, uh, with the device. So almost all other devices that are being sold in the market today don't have touchscreens. So I'm going to walk through with you why that's beneficial 
and what we could do with it because you could do on-screen COVID, COVID screening, COVID questionnaires, um, people interacting. And I'm gonna talk about how we had a demo of the Golden Nugget and they are right on the spot. They said they want it, they're gonna be implementing it. And we'll talk about what their workflow of what they wanted to do. But on the device, there's also an NFC reader and an RFID reader, as well as a Bluetooth and a QR code. So you could read QR codes on it. Uh, and um, let me show you uh, here. So we have uh, on the back of the unit, so, uh, and obviously we'll have to get you a unit so you could see it and touch it and feel it and, and play with it. Uh, but um, the, the, the unit could be displayed on metal detectors. So if you walk into a stadium marina, it could be put on the front of a, of a metal detector. Uh, you could use your regular access cards, just like when you go into a building, uh, use your normal access cards. I'm gonna talk about how uh, and what you could do and what the use case would be for that. Uh, but we also have on the back of the unit, there's all these ports. So what makes this product pretty cool is that you've got a relay and this over here, this is called the Wigan interface. So this Wigan interface uh, allows you to turn this into an access control technology. So when you go up to your door at, at, uh, at any door and you touch your access card in a building, when you touch that access, you touch your card to the access card to the reader, it goes through a relay to the board uh, down sitting in the, the back of the building. This little board right here, this is the connector that connects to send that signal down to the board. So this in turn becomes a full access control technology, pass through technology, as well as it has power supply, RJ45 jacks, and, and a 12 volt uh, output. These are all needed uh, to, in order to do gates, make gates work. So if you do want to have the technology in a, a gate environment, so to open up gates, whether it's access cards or even uh, utilizing this to open up gates, just if you're under a certain temperature. So uh, the CDC recommends 100.4 as the recommended temperature, but you could change the temperature completely uh, uh, on your own, meaning that they can change the temperature of what they want that setting to be, what's considered hot, what's considered normal. Uh, so the, um, uh, let me show this uh, over here. So that the technology also has in it, because it has the cameras, because it has the LED lights, so not only am I able to do the authentication on this piece uh, with the thermal management, we also could do facial authentication. So, uh, which leads us to a number of different workflows that our customers have asked for. Uh, and this is what separates right here is what separates from us from everyone else. Um, now, I don't know, obviously a lot of you know that we're, our business is called Certify, but Certify has been in business since 2012. And what we do on a day-to-day on a -day basis, so if you go to, if anybody asks, or if you want to explain what Certify is, so our company, uh, the day-to-day -day, uh, banner of our company is Certify Health. So CertifyHealth.com, is our core company and we've been providing solutions including these kind of solutions the facial recognition solutions and biometric solutions and patient authentication and patient engagement for the largest hospital systems in the world since 2012. so at certify health you could see all the different technologies and the things we're doing so if someone says oh you guys uh, how long you've been around for you could say with a straight face that we've been around since 2012 and providing technology to enterprise clients uh, in, a, in a complete platform. Now our platform, what's unique about our platform, and let me go back here, is it's compliant. So we've got uh, over here on the bottom of the document, it's high trust compliant. It, high trust, is, uh, these three compliances are super important. HIPAA obviously, HIPAA is important, but it's not as uh, rigid to get, but these two are really, really hard to get. Like to become high trust compliant is, um, it's one of the hardest authentications you could possibly get. Uh, we're also hosted in Microsoft Azure. So, and that's really one of, between uh, AWS, which is Amazon's web hosting, and Azure, these are the two most important uh, hosting environments in the world today, uh, and uh, extremely trusted. And then we're hosted in Azure, we're a Microsoft partner, and uh, we have these two compliances that any organization of any size would be uh, completely thrilled to do. So if someone's looking at another technology and they're buying a thermal reader that they got off Alibaba or they've seen online or they've seen somewhere, uh, no one could ever compete with the idea that, that all of the data resides, uh, from, it goes from the local application that's sitting there locally on the device and feeds into our core uh, HIPAA high trust ISO compliant platform. 
And uh, the system also works online and offline. So it's important to note because it can just sit as a thermometer, like as a, as a, a virtual thermometer. So the State Department uh, bought uh, three of these right now. They're testing. And it looks like they already asked us about uh, procuring 300 for all the embassies around the world. Uh, and, um, and again, it, but it works in online mode too. So if you want the data to feed into our platform and uh, just so everyone knows how to access the platform. So you go to certify.me, that, that's our website. So uh, certify.me is, is that. So obviously just remember it's not .com. And if you click on sign in, everyone could use the same uh, uh, login. So it's demo at certify.me, password demo. We made it really simple so you could log in and, and see everything. Uh, and then from there, you'll be able to see dashboarding and reporting. Uh, and I just want to explain one thing on this dashboard. So what you do is when you click on, uh, on the, you could click on a photo. So if you got here, if I go to reporting and I go to the all temperature report and uh, let me just move this out of the way. So, and I go back to say yesterday. So uh, let me see here, we go back to last seven days. So see, we've done uh, scanning. We've done uh, almost 10,000 scans. This is just in pure demo mode uh, over the last uh, uh, seven days. And so we're constantly testing the system. But what we do is um, you have the ability within the system, and there's different setting, which, settings, which I'm going to go over in a second. But uh, the system works anonymously. So if you just want to walk into a store, thermally scan, and keep walking and do that one second stand, that's capable. It's there. You give people confidence uh, when they're walking in a store. And we're finding that this process helps relieve customer and, and uh, staff anxiety by at least knowing that everyone's been thermally uh, checked and scanned. Okay, but what we've also have a setting on here, even in anonymous mode, that says for people that have a high temperature, uh, make sure you capture their picture. So, uh, and that's what, that we, that's what you're seeing here. So, and you have the ability within the system to set the temperature to whatever you want. So even though you're seeing on this demo, you're seeing 97.7, the reason why it's 97.7 is uh, no one in our company right now has a temperature. So we can't have a uh, high temperature. So we artificially just in the system made it uh, 97 as the high temp, uh, that's the watermark. Uh, and then you get these pictures that come up. So, and the reason why we do that is let's say you're at a stadium or you're at an arena, you don't wanna have to sit and watch the screen all day long. You wanna be able to do your business, handle everything that's there. Someone comes in with a high temperature, I need to take some action. So that, that's what this is. And then anonymously, because I don't know the person's name, they could, in real time, it pops up on their phone via SMS or email or on the report. It's called the high temperature report. And they could say, oh, I, I've got to go find this guy. He's at gate three uh, at, uh, at you know, 5, 10 p.m. And we actually put up the um, color image, the thermal image, uh, and, uh, and even the IR image. So just so they have the ability of seeing it. And this is the thermal image. So you could see, the little dot, that's the thermal dot that goes right on uh, someone's head. So it looks uh, for there, it tries to take the hottest spot, and then it hones in on that. So it's very unique uh, technology in the way that it was created and, uh, and the way it really has that interactive real-time information going from the localized application into the dashboard. And that's going to be the biggest sales point that you have over any other player is that you could, we have complete device management. So you could add devices, you could take off devices, you could customize devices, customize workflows. You, we have member management where you could add people to the system and you could add photos. And then those, that data feeds into the localized application that we built, uh, and um, as well as obviously reporting. So having all different kinds of reports, and let me show you another one that we have. So um, uh, over here. So under, so we have like, here's an example of a, a report on someone's phone. So imagine you're at the Eagles game and uh, people are walking in and now they need to just uh, address the person with a high temperature. Uh, they have the ability here of saying, oh, high temp. Uh, and then uh, they could search a report by all temp, high temp. And I'm gonna show you what addressed and missed means, uh, but they could even have someone locked down to a specific device like uh, gate one, two, three. Uh, or they could just see all the devices. So their goal is to have someone with a suit and tie walking around addressing individuals with high temperatures 
as opposed to just having the person who's wanding you and taking your, your keys to say, sorry, you can't come into the game. They want to have a process where someone scans with a high temp. They say, sir, ma'am, could you come over here? We're going to do a secondary screening uh, for your high temperature and really talk to the individual and ask them maybe some COVID questions. Uh, do you have COVID? Have you, have you uh, been exposed to anybody? Do you know you have high temperature? And we've already gotten feedback from customers that have deployed the technology that um, uh, they've already stated that people don't actually even know they had temperatures. So, and uh, by looking at the temperature, they're like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize I had a temperature. So, uh, and then, um, but they do have the ability within the system to either view the picture, uh, mark it as addressed or mark it as missed. So addressed and missed disappears from the high temperature report, uh, but it still is always available. But the reason why we put it there is, so if they walk up to someone and let's say you're only working the people with the high temp, so then you don't need to, uh, you don't need to have it sitting there all the time because you already addressed it. So address just means I talked with them and you did a secondary scan or whatever you did and missed is, you know what, I, I, I was dealing with someone else and I missed them, so I, I don't have them. Uh, and then you can even view the picture that's, uh, that's on there. So you could view the individual picture and, and obviously close that uh, too. So it's, uh, it's pretty neat. Uh, the dashboard is where we're spending most of our time of improving the dashboard and making it better and, and really taking our product to the next level that uh, where other players don't, uh, aren't capable of. Um, I did also want to point out, besides the RFID, NFC, and Bluetooth, it also has uh, Wi-Fi and uh, 4G capabilities too. So if someone doesn't have access to a Wi-Fi or it's not a Wi-Fi range, you, uh, you can utilize 4G uh, for this. It does come with a one-year warranty, and it also comes with 24 by 7 live support. So uh, we have people answering the phone all the time, uh, and that's just part of our uh, offering and opportunity. Um, as well as it even comes with email and SMS messaging. We use a company called Twilio to do the SMS messaging. So if someone wants to get an SMS message to complete a COVID questionnaire or to, um, uh, or to get a high temperature, oh, this individual just arrived, they have a high temperature, now they can, they can uh, address the issue. And we do, the, the sort of a, a term that you're gonna wanna keep in mind is omni-channel thermal management. So omni-channel means that you just have multiple channels uh, uh, feeding in, so multiple outlets, whether you have 10 devices, 20 devices, 100 devices, so you could manage all of them into one process, into one dashboard. So this omni-channel solution has been really important because someone like the, uh, when we were talking yesterday with the um, uh, uh, international, the um, uh, Intercontinental Hotel Group, so they said right on the spot, well, we want to issue a PO for 24,000 units. So, and they want to get this in every single hotel. And they uh, saw that they, they view the difference between uh, the uh, staff check-in. So from a use case perspective, you have a staff check-in process, you have a customer check-in process, and then they had a vendor visitor check-in process that was even different th than those. So they saw that as an opportunity uh, for them to, um, to have these different processes. And all the other technologies that they looked at, uh, none of them had this whole setup. So uh, many, many companies are doing the wand right now. So you literally take a wand, you're standing up there in front and they're wanding you. So anywhere you see a situation where someone is doing a wand check-in or a wanding process, like don't pass go, you need to give them a product because uh, you're saving time, effort, energy. And this is, uh, and also UPMC, uh, one of my customers, University of Pittsburgh Medical Center, they've already ordered 450 units. So even hospitals are using this as a, thermological check-in uh, scenario and check-in process. So what I'll do is I'll go through this piece over here because this is a super important piece which I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you. This is the game changer of what you're really selling. So even though this is the physical expression of our product, uh, a thermal reader with a beautiful touch screen and NFC and RFID access control capabilities, again, it integrates with your existing access control, facial recognition capabilities, uh, uh, IR LED lights, uh, that's very well crafted, warranted. Uh, uh, however, uh, it also comes with the interaction and integration with the platform that's completely plug and play. So when they get the device, all they do is plug it in, it integrates with our system and they're ready to use it. So, and uh, we're gonna talk through these two. So uh, anonymous and identified experiences and the COVID compliance and reporting. So these are the two things that we're finding that everyone's been asking for. And, and this is the game changer separator 
from us versus everyone else. So even people like, um, we have this local uh, uh, place called Kava, uh, and uh, Kava has 250 stores. And right on the spot, when we were in a meeting, they had some senior uh, uh, people on the phone, some hardcore programmers with security. Like, I mean, this was a true venture-backed, private equity-backed company that, that took their um, data seriously. And they just loved the fact that uh, we had the high trust and HIPAA and ISO compliance. So, uh, all right, so here, let's go over this. So anonymous thermal scanning. So a lot of people are doing anonymous thermal scanning and they're setting their device to say, you know what, let's just do anonymous. So what I showed you before uh, was anonymous mode. So whether I'm, a, uh, I'm coming into the system and if I am a, let me just bring up that video again. So I come up to the, I come up to the platform, doesn't know who I am. I come in, I thermally scan in one second, and then I, I move on. So again, this screen, it could be up for one second, two seconds, three seconds, completely up to them on how they want to do that. But it's uh, really, really fast, and it works uh, really well. Uh, then obviously, on the other side, we have, um, we have here, so anonymous thermal scanning with uh, uh, reporting, with dashboarding. So, I mean, with uh, a customized screen. So, welcome Capital Spam. So, this is, this is what they tell people. Oh, could you have mute? Could someone mute? There's a lot of noise going on. Okay, so th th they're putting up this uh, over here. Uh, so, this is their first message they have up. And then, um, again, the person thermally scans. They're keeping this up for two seconds. Uh, they're keeping this, the audible uh, welcome Capital Spam. It's up long enough to see it. And then, and they close it down. So anonymous thermal scanning, you could display or not display the temperature of the customer. So the Eagles talked about, uh, hey, I think we may want to not display the temperature. So people walk up to it, it just says thermal scanning in progress. So you actually never see yourself. It just keeps scanning, scanning, scanning. Um, and then you just, uh, and then you, you uh, as you keep walking. And then there's an on-screen message after temperature reading. So the message could be welcome capital span, or it would say, uh, please go see the front desk or please see a representative, please see a gate representative. So completely uh, up to them on what they want the message to be and uh, what, they want to, uh, what they want it to say. Um, so this is what we, we showed you earlier, which was the thermal scan, display or don't display the temperature, the customized on-screen message, but a high temperature image capture. So now they only have to uh, focus on the people that actually have a, a high temperature as opposed to trying to manage everyone that comes in, you just manage the high temperature people. So this, uh, so now over here, what's interesting, this goes into our, our identified experiences. So this is a staff member coming in. So, uh, and uh, most of our customers are separating the, this idea of staff coming in versus their, uh, versus customers. So that, that's sort of their distinction versus vendors. So vendor, let's call it vendor staff is one process and visitor and a uh, visitor and or a customer's another process. So customers would have the anonymous thermal scan and then identified thermal scans would be a thermal scan. They did, then they perform facial recognition. So it stays anonymous for people they don't recognize. So let's say a visitor or a vendor comes into a location like an office or a building. So it, it still would be anonymous, doesn't know, oh, I don't know, it's Wendy Lapin. Uh, but then over here, there's option for on-screen enrollment. So this is also, no one has this. There's not one uh, other competitor we have in the marketplace today that uh, any of these people have bought from us have told us they've never seen that before, where let's say, a, again, a vendor comes in and, and now you set something up and say, uh, no vendors, no one's allowed on property ever again, uh, unless, you have, unless, unless you have a high temperature, if you have a high temperature. So, uh, so if you have a high temp, you're not uh, coming into our place. So, but the on-screen enrollment allows them to say, uh, it captures their face, then you could go on and it says, uh, please enter your, it says, uh, sorry, we couldn't find you. Please enter your first name, last name, cell phone, if you have one, you click next. Uh, then from the next screen, you have the companies or properties, terms and conditions. So they may say, uh, please know we're keeping your uh, information on our file for the next, uh, you know, in, in, in every time you come in, you're gonna be facially recognized. Whatever T's and C's they want to have, they can do it. They click next, and then they register. So now you actually get a compliant uh, person who's agreed to the terms and conditions. And now every time they come in, they're thermoscanned, facially recognized, 
And then in real time, it says, uh, Wendy Lapin came in, uh, her temperature was 97.1. Uh, she came at uh, 242 PM on May 9th, uh, 2020 and uh, a device, uh, front desk device. So, uh, so now they have a true compliance report in order to facilitate all this. And also too, we note that we, we have everything you're seeing here, our platform has APIs available. So uh, APIs are that ability for us to integrate to any other player in real time. And uh, why that's important is if someone doesn't do their questionnaire or COVID questionnaire, or they're not enrolled, they can be automatically notified if something's not done. So uh, we have this, uh, we landed this customer called the Ocean Casino. Uh, it's in Atlantic City, it's a huge, huge casino. And they're setting up the process where they're gonna be taking our API, they're integrated into their Kronos uh, time clock system. So if uh, Mary Smith checks in on her time clock, but she wasn't thermally identified, then in real time, our system is going to send out uh, an SMS message to Betsy Smith that says, hey, Betsy, uh, you didn't uh, a thermal scan today. You please uh, go to the staff area and thermally scan. So it's pushing this idea of compliance. So at least for the foreseeable future, as far as we know it, uh, post-pandemic, or even I'd call it a, a morphed process of pandemic still here, but yet reopening the world, uh, there's going to be this, this ramp and then uh, doing this is going to become a mandatory thing. So, um, uh, so anyway, so uh, we have the on-screen enrollment. We've got the messaging if they don't do it. Uh, but then we also have this process here where, again, fitting into existing workflows, thermally scanning, uh, and then and touching your access card or NFC or QR code or facial recognition. So some kind of do a thermal scan and then present your card and then walk into your location or uh, do your access card present, uh, do your access card, QR code facial, followed by the thermal scan. So, and again, I put this up here just so you could see the different workflows, because uh, this is what customers are asking for, and they love the optionality, and everything that we have is all configurable on the back end. So, um, and also what's very important to know, there's this term called fleet management. So, fleet management, most of the customers that are ordering from us have more than one location, or they're ordering more than one unit. Very, very few customers are adding, asking for one unit. If they do, they could go online, just buy them right online. But um, if they're buying more than one unit, this whole fleet management concept is the ability of managing all of your devices from the cloud. So you go to our cloud system, you can change settings on the cloud, and it pushes down to the device level. So that's super important because if you have IT that's managing an area and they manage the settings on the device, you want them to manage at the device level. You don't want them to have to physically go to each device and start changing settings there. Again, something very, very different that uh, no one else in the industry is doing, no one in the market has. And I would say it's probably gonna take any competitor anywhere from, I'd call it six to 18 months to catch up on something like that, to be able to truly manage settings, uh, device settings from a cloud-based system. So uh, when you're pushing uh, a product set and you're saying, hey, what's, you know, what's different about us than everyone else, that's going to be a main uh, factor. Uh, but let's, I, I do want to, uh, I'm going to take questions in a second and, and uh, answer some things. But this right here, this automated COVID compliance, like this is the game changer. So this is what something uh, that everyone is asking for. Uh, we had a nursing home uh, that we, uh, that just bought units from us. And they told us that uh, they will never, ever not, they will never go back to letting people in the nursing home that, uh, are, that don't go through this process. So they had, the guy told me, he's a fellow YPOer, I'm in this group called the Young Presidents Organization, and, and there's presidents and CEOs of companies around the world. And this guy was from um, uh, Louisiana, and he told us that he had 27 deaths in one nursing home because someone's nephew came in or grandnephew came in, and uh, they came in to see them, and he had COVID. And um, I, whether he knew it or didn't know it, uh, got the grandmother sick, and then uh, she spread it to everyone else. So obviously, it wasn't something that, that he intended to do. But the um, this idea that that having the ability of um, uh, having a screening, having a questionnaire, and, and even enabling people to be thoughtful of the process is is super important. So everyone uh, that we pitched to just loves this uh, concept of visitor, vendor, staff, and we call them in our system members. So it doesn't matter what, who they are uh, in the system, 
There's, they could be sent a link via email or SMS to complete the COVID questionnaire. So if you want to see a sample of a COVID questionnaire, so, uh, so we own the domain um, umdhealthcare.com. Health, UMD so this is ours. Uh, uh, we set this up as like a, like a fake hospital because we do all these different technologies. Uh, but if you go to complete your COVID questionnaire, so we have this up and running today and hospitals uh, that are our customers at Certify Health use this. But uh, most of our customers have said, I'm doing a quick three question. Uh, have you had COVID? Have you had any exposure to COVID uh, through family or friends? Uh, and then, or know anybody that has COVID? Or have you traveled to uh, areas that have a high prevalence of COVID? So those are the three questions. So, um, and answer obviously no, no, no on those three questions. And I'm gonna talk about how the, uh, uh, the CEO of the Golden Nugget, which is a huge, uh, a huge uh, casino and multiple casinos, and they own la laundries, laundries, steakhouses. Um, he said that uh, every single employee is gonna have to do this in order to work. So uh, I, I think this could be an important selling point for you. And it's also, again, uh, comes into this idea of a thermal management platform as opposed to just being a, a thermometer. So, um, uh, so now uh, here's the workload. So step one, they could be sent a link beforehand. So before they come on property, uh, but they could also do it there on property. So in real time, they could fill out the COVID questionnaire while they're there, uh, or they could even fill it out on screen. So depending upon uh, what their workflow is. So if you only have one reader and you have, uh, you're gonna have five or six or 10 people at a time coming in, you're probably not gonna wanna do on screen. Uh, you probably tell them, hey, you've gotta complete your COVID questionnaire before you uh, uh, enter our premises. So they complete the questionnaire. They have the option for face enrollment if they want to. Uh, and they also have the option to sign on their phone. Because uh, imagine you complete it on your phone, you answer three questions. You could sign, hey, I agree, this is true. They call that a wet signature, meaning someone's actually signing. Then they also have the option, the facility could put in their terms and conditions if they want to that says, uh, or I, and this always sits behind the scenes. You know, I agree that uh, everything I say in this is truthful. And uh, if, if I'm exposed to COVID, I'll change my answers and notify you immediately. So the, the member is provided a QR code for their identity and successful completion of the questionnaire. So now when the member presents on a device, so now I walk into the facility, um, I present there. Imagine this could be in every school. This could be in, in a, you name the facility. They're thermally scanned or they could be facially recognized or present their QR code. So that links back to the fact that uh, Wendy Greenberg filled out her QR code questionnaire. So now imagine from a client, uh, a uh, compliance perspective, now they know Wendy Greenberg walks in. She's uh, 97.1. Uh, she came in on uh, this date and this time, and she has a completed COVID-19 questionnaire on file. Like, so now from a compliance perspective, you are starting to bridge the gap for them to say, I feel much more comfortable about a fully automated, process that documents everything, it gives them everything in one set location. Uh, and this is where, again, no one out there today has anything like that or anything close to it. So combining this idea of enterprise class capabilities of a, of a platform that's been around since 2012, that has tens of millions of patients on it, that's been dealing with healthcare uh, since 2012, and the ability of providing real-time, up-to-date, auditable, and compliant uh, compliance reporting is really the key. So um, as well as uh, here, uh, and again, this, this whole concept that members can be automatically notified if the questionnaire isn't completed. So we, we do have a workflow too that, again, that was the, the CEO of the Golden Nugget asked us to do is uh, you're going to come in, uh, you're going to thermally authenticate, you're going to facially authenticate. It says uh, uh, Mark Greenberg uh, filled out his questionnaire. Uh, he uh, uh, you know, he's, this is the time, this is the date. Uh, and then uh, it's gonna turn around on the screen and it's gonna say that custom message we talked about, it's gonna say, uh, here are the answers. Has anything changed uh, on this COVID questionnaire? It has the three questions. It has the uh, no, no, no on it with radio buttons. And they're gonna have two buttons. So it says, uh, yes, something's changed or no, they don't have to do anything. But the goal is not to have them touch the screen if they don't have to. And then it's just a countdown three, two, one, and then it closes and uh, they, get, they get to keep walking. So, uh, so their, whole, their whole concept is pushing this idea that they want everyone to have to authenticate their COVID questionnaire every single time. 
and give them that three second delay in order to do that. And we showed you how easy this was and simple it was on the process. So, um, uh, and over here, the, the temperature reading, again, this is a German made thermological sensor. Uh, if you look over here on the left side, uh, feel free to read through this. Again, I sent this to everybody. Uh, these are more of the specifications about the technology and about the uh, device. Um, it could be used uh, outside as well as inside. However, it's, this device isn't waterproof. So it can't be put in an area that's gonna be sprayed with water all the time, but it can be used in an outdoor setting, an outdoor environment, as long as it's in a covered setting for um, uh, obviously as it relates to water. But uh, we've seen uh, customer storylines of using it for customers, using it for staff, visitors, vendors, access control, and as well as a whole host of capabilities of where this could be used. Uh, and then they, we, what we did too is we try to make it really simple for them. Uh, that's another thing too, by the way, that a lot of our competitors don't have a simple go online and buy the product uh, process. So we've got uh, wall mounts, uh, we've got uh, pull mounts for the technology, we have light up desk stands and light up uh, pull mounts for them to put this on. And we actually are coming out with a new stand uh, that should be out hopefully by next week. Uh, we have uh, one of my really good friends uh, who's part of, he's actually uh, an investor in our company too. Um, they, uh, he, uh, he owns a company in, um, in Detroit uh, that, uh, that they just furloughed everybody or they've been, they've been furloughed. They're, they brought them back to work, uh, and now they're going to be making our stands. So uh, we have these really cool stands that they designed, and uh, it's going to be made in the USA, made in Detroit stands, and the company makes uh, race car engines for a living. So it's going to be a really cool uh, process, and hopefully we're going to get some notoriety from, uh, you know, made in America uh, from the stand perspective. Um, and then um, uh, having hopefully – if we have some of these uh, stars like Mary Lemieux lends his voice to this, it, it could be pretty cool where, you know, you come up to a device and, and uh, now you, you get to recognize or see who's, whose voice is uh, on the thing that says welcome or thank you uh, as part of the process. So uh, I'll stop there and answer questions. Uh,